Also, as a little extra, I just want to say, I'm curious to hear about your story with this game, whether it's, you know, you playing it and what you did in your first interpretation, or, you know, what you did when your first playthrough, any sort of particular moments, or what you thought of the ending, because this is, like, mind-blowing stuff. The moon? It's been foreshadowed since, like, episode one with Ratman's Dens, and then, like, Cave Johnson says that moon dust is a great portable conduct- a great portal conductor, so it's all there the whole time. It's great, but, uh... I'd also be interested to hear if you've actually watched this Let's Play, if watching this Let's Play was the first time you've seen this whole story, like, if you've been watching it blind through me, because I would really be interested to hear what you have to say if that's the case, because generally with what the way the internet seems, it seems like everyone knows Portal 2 and everyone's played it or seen the story, so if you hadn't seen this before and you've been seeing, you know, this is your first experience of the ending, tell me about it, because... I'm interested to hear any sort of stories you've got, and I'm just glad to think that someone out there is going to be seeing this game for the first time through me, and I'm glad I could share this story with you. But yes, anyway, to the extras. So, we've now done absolutely everything except for this last one here. And it's not about Portal. It's Super 8, an interactive teaser trailer, sort of. It's a, not really a trailer, it's a... It's a game version of a movie that's coming out, or has come out by this point, obviously. So it's like an advert in video game form. Let's play it. Hello. Seems we're on a train. I would have actually, I was planning to watch this movie and then make a review of it as I do this, but I never actually ended up following through because I completely forgot and got distracted by school, but it seems we've got a sort of old-timey sort of sense in this place. Quarter past twelve, if that's a clock, otherwise it might be some sort of pressure gauge. Valeria copy. Hmm. Uh-oh. That doesn't feel safe. Is this train alright? We're in America, traveling east. Threat protocol appendix, app app appendix, analysis and evidence, technician. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Car drop zero. Local movers one. Out with cuts. Uh oh. I guess somehow we survived a sort of train crash, huh? Helmets, propane tanks... Jesus! This is quite the wreck. What is this, a butcher's place? Because we've got dead pigs. And beans. Very eerie, huh? Electric cables completely taken out. I guess we're kind of near some sort of civilization, huh? Does that mean we can find help? Well, I expect they're going to notice we're here if we took out their power, huh? That barrel... I thought that barrel was on fire. High-pitched squeaking? Oh, hiya.
So yeah, that was that. Don't really know what to think of it, but that was that. And now, for some reason, they took us right back to the very first menu in Portal 2. Wheatley is out in space, the Space Corps is out in space, and apparently, according to this, GLaDOS is back to being completely destroyed at the very beginning of the game. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to win it off here. Though if I am going to throw in one more quick thing, because I have so much to say at the end apparently, there is always a chance that I will continue this series further as I go on to the different modes of playing, if I can ever find it, because I'd love to go over the co-op stuff. Like, there's actually a couple, from what I'm picking up, there's a couple of stories in it. Like, one is getting the robots to try and find all the other human testers, because... I'm not quite sure, even though they're doing for robot testing. And then another one was to, like, find something or other. I can't remember what they were finding, I just remember the ending cutscene, and I'm not going to spoil it. But yeah, if I ever did have a partner to play with, that may be a thing in the future. But for now, it's just me, and I'll be going on a break at the end of Super Mario Galaxy. So, my name's been Daz, you don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.